What's up everyone? I am Exploring Nomad and welcome back to my YouTube channel for another product review. Today we are doing the review of my Zion Smooth Q 3-axis gimbal. Uh, I bought this gimbal about three months ago. Um, the main reason why I took so long to make a review video of this is because I wanted to get the perfect feel for it um, and have it pretty good in my mind on how this thing worked. Um, as you seen from all my other videos, uh, this is the system I used on all my videos so far. <clears throat> um, works very well. Uh, as you see, I have it in my hand right now. I'm going to power it up and show you the different modes and uh, accessories that I added onto it. Um, Alright, while I powered it on, I just want to let you know I bought this gimbal for $150 uh, at Best Buy in my local area. Um, it is actually on sale right now that I've seen on Amazon for $99.99, which is a great deal. Um, it actually even comes with, I have a tripod right here, um, the same one that you can get from Zayun when you order your gimbal. Um, mine did not come with that. It did not come with this bracket as well. I bought those separate. Um, but as I come in, I will show you, let me zoom this, or focus this real quick. Okay, as you can see, you have a blue blinking light right there. That is your mode indicator light as well as your battery light. Um, it blinks four times from 76% to 100, three times for 51% to 75, two times for 26% to 50%, and then it blinks one time from 25% down to fully dead. Um, Right here is mode one. As you can see, it is the pan mode. It keeps the camera very still. Um, click it one more time, and it turns it to lock mode, which you can turn it, and the camera will not move from that current position. Click it two more times, oh, sorry, three more times, and it turns it to selfie mode, which it'll turn the camera around uh, to take a picture of yourself, video of yourself, um, whatever you please. Hit it three more times to turn it back to the first mode, which is pan mode. And then, uh, right now I will show you the accessories that comes with it. Um, obviously get the gimbal itself. You get this USB to micro USB uh, charging wire. Um, the only thing that sucks with these is... Phone ones do not work. It is not long enough, the tip on here, um, to get into the charging port. Um, so try not to lose one of these. If you can, order a second one. Um, we all know how charging wires break over time. Um, with it, you also get this guitar style looking case, which is not bad for itself. Not much space on the inside of it for accessories. Um, I myself, I upgraded to a waterproof hardened case. Um, you can buy this at Harbor Freight. You can see it in my other video. I will put it in the description, little box up here somewhere, um, to that video. The foam on the inside, I have it shaped out to the Zion with the bracketry. Um, <clears throat> it has a battery out, battery life of 12 hours which is amazing. Um, the other cool thing that they added is this little USB in the back. Um, you can plug your phone charger wire into this and plug it into your phone. It'll charge your phone as you're going. Um, that has a very good lifespan on it as well when it's charging. Um, I haven't, I've never had this thing go down to fully dead yet. I usually charge after ex every exploration. Um, Guessing with charging the phone, you probably get about eight hours. I want to guess here or there if anybody knows anything. Um, the actual time, put it in the description below for me. Um, Try to think of what else. Uh, has the battery life at 12 hours. Um, you can buy a GoPro bracket um, that'll bolt that'll hold into here, and the GoPro sits right in this area that it'll bolt to. Um, 
but yeah um i would give this five out of five stars if i was rating it um it is amazing it is a fraction of the price of dji osmo um i love dji products but five hundred dollars compared to basically the exact same thing for a hundred bucks now on amazon or even 150 dollars it's still a deal um yeah um great gimbal if you're into photography videography cinematography um pretty much anything you need check it out they also have a um same thing a little bit bigger for the dslr cameras which i am looking into getting one those are a little bit on the pricey side too they're about 500 to 600 bucks which is still on the cheap side compared to thousand fifteen hundred bucks two thousand dollars uh for other products other companies out there um if you're looking for a three access gimbal get one of these don't think about it just go out there and get it awesome product um i will leave a link in the description below um to this product um like i said i will leave a link for this box if you're also looking for one of those in a box up top um that's it for today uh please like if you like this video, please like it. Let me know that I'm doing a good job with these uh, reviews. Remember to subscribe. Ring that little bell to get future updates uh, to my videos. They're usually around Sunday, Monday area when I upload videos. Um, I do weekend explorations, obviously, work during, work during the week. Um, yeah, my email is in, in the description below. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me. Thank you. Bye.